I'm gonna say bright and early, but not bright, but it is early. 7.30 a.m., gonna hit a little rope drop park hopping today. It's a historic day at WDW. Kinda. Need to fuel up with a little caffeine. Gonna get a couple large coffees. Store them away for some park hopping. Yeah, two larges fill this up so I can consume a little coffee before heading into the parks. And then when I go over to the other places as I'm driving, this will keep it warm. Should be good to go. Yeah, two large coffees fills this things up. At this time frame, at this moment of the day, the morn. I for a westbound looking smooth. For the first time in almost four years, park hopping, all day park hopping is back at Walt Disney World. By my calculations, it's been about four years, a couple months shy of four years when the parks closed in Feb late February, early March of 2020, and then when they reopened, and then park hopping came back. You weren't able to go to a second park until 2 p.m. Now, it's instantaneous. I'm gonna test it out today. Now out of the four parks, the only one that opened at 8 a.m. today was Disney's Animal Kingdom. The other one's open at nine. So I'm hitting this one first. And I'm gonna to try to hit all four parks before 2 p.m. when park hopping used to begin. So if I can knock out all of them before it used to start, that's a pretty good challenge. Oh, this this road just, this uh, lane just cleared up for me. Parked pretty close to the front here in Peacock, 110. Dreary day. Very dreary day. Let it be documented. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this Tuesday, January 9th, 2024, I have my magic band. I have booked a reservation. However, today not only is the opening back up of park hopping, all day park hopping, but also annual pass holders are getting good to go days announcements. So I'm gonna check on the app to see what the heck that means. Cause today was the first day where we were able to figure that out. And ticket holders do not need, I saw the exit sign, I was kind of confused, but exit that way. Annual pass holders have to make reservations as of right now. So I made one for Animal Kingdom and then I could jump over to the other parks as the days go on. I might be able to get this accomplished by noon but I'm saying two just because that's when park hopping used to begin. If I can get that done before it used to begin, I think it's kind of a neat idea. But I can probably get it done before noon. I'm going to hit one attraction and or experience in each park before two, possibly noon. I'm inviting you to join me. The caffeine's kicking in. And it'll be warm in the car, hopefully, when I get back. Join me. Shall you? It's not showing rain, but it's hard to tell if it's going to because it's just showing these gusty wind patterns. A lot of storms are going to be rolling through Central Florida today, so I might get moist. Right, take a look at this, a proper rope drop. I can't even tell you when I've been at a rope drop at Animal Kingdom, if ever. I mean, I've done rope drop at all the other parks, but I don't know if I've ever stood here in the crowd for a rope drop at Animal Kingdom. It's like three minutes till late. All right, I am officially in. Now, I'm not sure with the inclement weather like it is if Everest will be open, but that is going to be my go-to. And usually at this time of the day is a complete walk-on because most people will head over to other attractions, especially the world of Avatar, and they'll go over to those areas. So should be able to knock that out within the first couple minutes. Hello, storks. Well, birds, fowl. I can't remember what those birds are called. Okay, it's showing that Everest is down at the moment. That's what that little star over there is. Worst case scenario, if it's not running by the time I get over there, I can do dinosaur five minute wait right over there. However, I can hear the noises over at Everest. So possibly by the time I get over there, it could be, it could be open for business. Yeah, it is a little gusty out here. I see the leaves going by, a little bit of a little bit of breeze, a little wind, nice and cool, almost like cool and crisp, but definitely like this little wind factor. All right, they are testing it, but there's no one on it. No one's screaming, no one's yelling. 
the ride vehicles are moving. So I'm gonna give it, I'll give it a couple minutes before I start heading over the dyno, but I really like to do this. Oh, uh, that seems to be the birds little like uh, roosting area over there with a little like hangout area over here where the, the show, the little nighttime spectacular show, which hasn't been running for a long time used to, used to be. Also kite tails. I never got to see kite tails. I'm really disappointed kite tails. Took, took place out here too. It'd be kind of nice if they brought a show back to this. There's a few places, there's a few things that need to kind of be brought back. I mean, it's like we haven't got back to full potential since 2020, but it's getting there. It's getting there. All right, decided to head over to Dino. I know probably by the time I get off a of dinosaur, the uh, Everest will be back open, but can't meet beat a five minute walk on for Dino. So this is my Animal Kingdom attraction. Hey, you're taking a chance sometimes when you're waiting for a ride to open. You'll be standing there for a half hour, an hour. Maybe what if it doesn't open? I think maybe the ink of the weather has something to do with it. So this just made more sense. I just checked the app while I'm walking in and Everest wasn't reopened. So I hit this and then Decide which other park I'm gonna to head to next. I'm gonna knock them out fast. Try to anyway. Take a look at this. They haven't even launched all the vehicles yet. Usually these are moving forward, but they haven't even loaded up the first ones of the day yet. All right, it looks as if they're just loading up the one side over there. They just got one side running right now. Holy cow, take a look at this. Not a whole heck of a lot of people boarding right now. I'm in row two, and I think they have the whole row two to myself. with Felicia Rashad, a.k.a. Claire Huxtable. There's a heavy, heavy, heavy rumor this is gonna be converted over to Indiana Jones, the ride, so gotta get these rides in while they're still around. And just like that, at 8.36, heading back out to the car, and just to clarify, yeah, the only park that was open at eight was Animal Kingdom. Magic Kingdom at nine, Epcot at nine, studios at 9 so i should be able to get over one of the other ones for the second rope drop by 9 a.m gotta choose which one though and they are doing the good morning announcement as i'm walking out they also have the christmas tree up which i'm surprised thinking possibly studios next that's kind of an easy one to park at and get right up there by the 9 a.m rope drop over there two rope drops in an hour park coppins back oh and there was a nice coffee morning aroma in the car the coffee's still hot too it smelled good when i got in here i'm excited 8 50 a.m approaching the parking lot at disney hollywood studios about to do my first park hop before two of 2024 even 2023 2021 and partially in 2020 a historic day all right there definitely doesn't seem to be a whole heck of a lot of people here yet either Parking lot's pretty dang empty this time frame. Nice. Yeah, I'm like in the first three or four rows of the parking. So I'm kind of curious, what should I try to go on? Should I try for Slinky Dog? Or due to this really cloudy, overcast, stormy weather, maybe Slinky Dog will be having the same delayed opening as Everest did. I would like to do Slinky Dog, there's like no one here and most people are gonna head over to Rise or Mickey and Minnie's. I'll try for Slinky Dog. I haven't done that in a while. And Mickey Mouse 305, that is Mickey Mouse 305. You guys can remember that number by writing it down on your phone or by taking a picture of 305, 305, 305, Mickey 305, 305, 305. I'm ingraining it in my head. Mickey 305, 305, 305. I'm gonna write it down. 8.56 a.m.
trams aren't even running yet. There's no reason to because there's only like three roads of parking filled up so far. I had considered doing rock and roller coaster, but I believe yesterday or the day before, within the last couple of days, it is down for refurbishment. It's gonna be down for refurbishment for a few months. So no rock and roller coaster today. So I'll try for Slinky Dog. And if that doesn't work out, maybe head over to Hollywood Tower. I got some options. Oh yeah, they're getting ready to do the rope drop over here. I can see the hordes of people. Rope drop number two, two in two hours. Park hopping is bad. Oh, they are making the rope drop announcement. Welcome to my Hollywood adventure. Yeah, safe to say the holiday crowds are still in full effect. I know there is an annual pass holder line to scan in, but I can't really see where it is from where I'm standing, so I'm just in this line. All right, that took nine minutes to get through. That is now 9.09 a.m. I am heading in down Hollywood Boulevard. Hello, Mickey right there, which is a lightning rod. Hopefully you don't get struck today. Heading right down the middle, not Main Street USA, but Hollywood Boulevard. And now over to Sunset. Slinky Dog is down like I thought, so going over to Hollywood Tower, which is only a 13 minute wait, which means it's probably a walk-on. Yeah, they do th the same thing at Haunted Mansion. They'll never do Mansion or Hollywood Tower. They'll never say five minutes or zero minutes. They'll always say 13 minutes. Spooky. And as you can see over here, Slinky Dog is down also with that little star. So no go on Slinky Dog. All right, I changed my mind. I think they only have one elevator running. So it's taken a little bit longer than I thought. So I'm going to head back over and I'm going to go over to Alien Swirling Saucer and knock that one out. Because I feel like it's going to be probably a half hour wait because they only got one elevator running on tower. So 13 minutes is a little, a little bit of an illusion. And I definitely, I know, maybe I'll get lucky and Slinky Dog will be open. If not, I'll ride a little Alien Swirly Saucer, A-S-S. -S. You know what that stands for. Oh, there's also Mickey and Minnie Runaway, which probably doesn't have too long of a line. I could check on that as well, or I could go back to Swirling Saucers. Oh, I see Slinky Dog running. They're testing it out, so maybe I'll get lucky with that. It said 20 minutes for Mickey and Minnie and five for ASS, so I think I'm gonna head over to Toy Story Land. Oh, it is running. Check it out. End of the line's way back here, though, so yee, I don't know. Should I chance it? Should I chance it? It's gotta be a walk-on, right? Yeah, it looks like the whole queue is filled up, so I'm gonna head over there. It says 40 minutes for Slinky Dog. I can see it from the distance, but this is just a walk-on, so. Alien Swirling Saucers, it is. Just like that, Slinky Dog's up to 45, right at opening. Five minutes, I can handle five. I, I, think, I think five is more my speed to do the park hopping thing. Yeah, I don't wanna burn a ton of time you know, trying to get over to the other park. So just kinda, you never know. If I get in that line, the Slinky Dog might end up going down because of the inclement weather. But going to do a little alien swirling saucers. I might end up being the only one on here. Take a look at this. I mean, there are people being loaded on there. People being lo loaded on over here. But I am going over to number one. So this is very, very similar to alien, not alien swirling. This is very similar to junk, Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, Jamboree at DCA. It's like the same kind of ride system. To be honest, I don't know which one I like more. I think I might side with swirling saucers over Junkyard Jamboree. But I do like... Mater's Junkyard Jam boo -ry when it comes to the Halloween season because I like the Halloween songs they play. But I like the, during the regular season, I think I prefer Alien Swirling Saucers of the two. You know, they're both the same ride systems with two different themes. There's a lot of those on Coast to Coast where they have the same ride systems but different theming on the you know, in the different parks. All right, knocking this one out. It was a quick little walk-on. All right, they switched me over to the other side because the, the first side I was showing had a little bit of a mechanical issue. But yeah, just kind of a quick little walk-on and now heading out. Yeah, really wanted to do Slinky Dog, but waiting almost 50 minutes for that, not, I didn't really want to do that. Hearts and kidneys are Tinker Toys. I think I'm heading over to park at Epcot, and then I'll do Epcot, and then TTC to MK. I think that's gonna kind of be the, the game plan. I think that makes sense, and I can do the monorail loop around. Oh, take a look, there is Woody and Jesse right there, too. Come join our line. Oh yeah, everybody flooding in, I'm heading out. That pass holder life is, well, pass holder life has been here, but now that park hopping AP life, it's back. Bubbles. Current time, 9.35 a.m., 9.35 a.m. Now there is the option to take the Skyliner from Studios to Epcot, but then I have to take the monorail and go all the way to the front of Epcot to go over to TTC after Epcot, so I think it'd be better 
to probably just drive and take the monorail quicker. As far as, get, as, far as getting back goes, I should say, it would take a while to go from Magic Kingdom back to Studio, or back to Epcot, and then back to Skyliner, back to Studio. So I'm just gonna drive over to Epcot. Everyone's heading in. Also, I think this has gone from trying to accomplish this by two, PM to trying to get this done by noon. Now I got the challenge in full effect and I got some personal stuff going on a little bit later. So not really dilly dallying and taking a lot of time in the park today. Plenty of relaxing days in the park today. I'm just trying to get it all done quickly just to see how fast I can park hop on this first day back officially for park hopping. I like these little challenges, they're kind of fun. Back to my car, what was it, 305? I think it was 3.05, I forgot to write it down. I think it was 3.05. This is 3.03, I need to go over one. You know that aroma or that smell when you like put the coffee pot on and you go into the other room and then come back down in the kitchen or you preset a coffee pot, wake up and go into the kitchen, has that aroma in the, in the kitchen smell? That's how my car is permeating right now when I leave each of these parks. Oh, the aroma is, is on point. See the parking lot hasn't even filled up yet and See Spaceship Earth off in the distance, way over there, past the Skyliner. The studios in Epcot are pretty close in proximity, closer than the other parks are. Those would be the two kind of twin parks location-wise. You can almost see, see them from each other's property. Ooh, out the window, monorail. We call it Epcot. That's a wall quote. All right, they parked me over here on this side. Kind of in a half empty parking lot. That parking lot, full. You see Guardians there. Got to check the app and see what the wait times are looking like. Choose which one I want to hit. Right now, current time, 9.54 a.m. About to walk in to Epcot at 10. Three parks, three hours. Eight, nine, and 10. Right on the dot so far. All right, this is what we're looking like. Five minutes for Spaceship Earth. That is kind of a long ride though, so that'll definitely kill some time. Figment five. Looks like the land is five. It's a long ride too. 65 for Test Track. Five minutes for Mexico. Maybe Spaceship Earth. You know what? You gotta do Spaceship Earth. Or I could do Nemo for five minutes. Hmm, that's a tough one. Spaceship Earth, five minutes. I think I'm gonna do that. I'll go with the classic. Because I have been walking very briskly, walking very quickly, trying to accomplish this. So, it'd be kind of nice to just sit for, the, what is it, a 10 minute, 12 minute ride through to Spaceship Earth. And plus, it'd be better than walking around to other areas of the park. So, that would kind of be about the same time as just doing Spaceship Earth. All right, 9.57, I am in. Yeah, there it is, five, five minute wait. I think that's probably the best option. Just go ahead and just knock this out and head out. Can't beat five minutes. All right, I'm gonna time it. It's 10.06 now. See how long this ride is. This is such a classic attraction. Love it. This guy is designated the unknown Egyptian. That's what the narrator says. And you always have to thank the Phoenicians. Thank you, Phoenicians. Serious discussion going on right here. Serious discussion. All right, it's 10.23 right now. But the ride did stop. It did break down for about one minute. So we got a cat counteract that in as well. It stalled out for a moment. All right, off to the monorail. Over to TTC, from TTC to M. Holy cow, look at those wind gusts right there. Look at the flags up there and how they're just waving in the breeze. You know, it's quite a possibility that the Skyliner might not even be running right now. So maybe I did take the right option by just uh, doing, the, doing this option. Actually, there goes the monorail that I'm gonna be boarding very, very soon. So that's gonna do the loop around Spaceship Earth, then loop around here. By the time I get up there, I'll be heading over to TTC. Nice. I feel like Bond Scott could appreciate this transportation vehicle right here, you know, because high voltage. And yeah, I'm taking this over to TTC and then TTC to Monorail Blue. Now at the moment, I am the only one. Now there's other people in the forefront, in the front of the monorail, but over here towards the back, there's no one else in the little compartment that I am in. So I might have this entire section here to myself. You see, no one is loading in. They're about to close the gates right there, so I think I have, I'm gonna have at least this this little section of the monorail to myself. Grab my seat and relax. At least over to Transportation Ticket Center, TTC for short. And the wait times at Magic Kingdom, we showcase those, are as follows. 
kind of leaning towards People Mover, which is looking like it's probably going to be about five minutes. Yeah, I'm going to do a little People Mover action. You know, because some of the other rides are going to be pretty long. Well, 35 for space, that's not too bad. Five minutes for Jumbo, five minutes for almost a goofy Sky School, but Barnstormer. 15 for Small World, 40. 35 for Big Thunder. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna just have a relaxing little ride around People Mover. Five minute wait. And because the rope drop rush has ended at this time frame, there's not a whole lot of people in here. I gotta kinda duck down because I'm six foot three, I'm gonna hit this little bar right here. This is a good time to jump on the monorail because at rope drop early and then post fireworks, the monorail, there's not a lot of room, not a lot of elbow room. Half the time, I'm not even able to sit in the monorail. I usually have standing that's so crammed in here. It's kind of nice to have no one in here but myself. Now, obviously, I gotta get dropped off, transportation ticket, and then from there, over to Magic Kingdom. But I can't imagine it being too busy at this exact moment going over to Magic Kingdom. I'll keep you posted. It does not look too busy at Magic Kingdom. This area of the parking lot is not filled up. This area of the parking lot's not filled up. That area of the parking lot's not filled up. Now over here is, and I would imagine over in this section is probably also full, but really not an incredibly busy, you can see over there, past that little berm, there's a lot of cars. This is preferred parking here, and that's full, and over there's full, but usually way over, I'm just topped over there. But usually over there, it's pretty filled up, so not too busy at Magic Kingdom. This time frame, kind of early. Top of the tram, loop there, going by. All right, had to go down the ramp and then back up another ramp. It's, it's kind of difficult to get into Magic Kingdom, but it is what it is. Ooh, I might be able to, to hit this one up here. Monorail Orange. Yeah, I think I should be able to get on this one. Perfect time. Current time is 10.47 a.m. So I should scan in about 10.50. Go over to People Mover. I'm also gonna get a bottle of water. I need a little bit of hydration as well. I saw some coffee, but get some hydration. If I can get back to my car by noon, four parks, four hours, car to car, it'd be incredible. Oh my goodness, the Christmas tree is gone. Christmas tree, holidays are officially over. The tree is gone horse-drawn carriage is going around. But look at this, the tree is removed. Some of the other parks just not. Magic Kingdom, holidays are over, official. Uh, looking through the umbrellas there, you see the castle. I am gonna cut through Tomorrowland Terrace to Tomorrowland. Yeah, a little hydration as well, heading into Tomorrowland. Got the rockets going by, providing some ambiance, and I'm gonna jump on the people mover. I got this. Yeah, it is more or less a walk on at this point so usually it's like kind of this is all filled up but not 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 right now i thought at this moment well now that i say that well, it seems as if it has stopped no one's going up the escalator so this could put a little little dent in my trying to get back to the car by noon four parks in four hours on the first day back of park hopping in three and a half years up I think it might be happening. It is 11.04 right now, so I think I got this. Gonna get a little view of Tomorrowland. Onto the moving platform. They said keep hands, arms, legs, feet, and other appendages inside the moving vehicle. So that could relate to pretty much anything. Heading around Tomorrowland. I'm liking this early park hopping thing. I'm liking it a lot. It's good to have it back. What a great view. There's the rockets now over there again. There it is. Got the raceway down below. Got Tron off in the distance. Weather's nice. Nice cool breeze. And about to go deep in the bowels of space mountain. Not on the right itself. Just through. Just through the nether regions of it. And back out into the daylight. The cloudy daylight. The darkness of Space Mountain. Into the cloudy light. 
And a nice little view there of the castle. 1017, exiting off of it now. 1017, I should be able to get back over to my car in the four hour cusp. And I misspoke, it's actually 1118, not 1018, 1118. Oh yeah, knocked out the people mover. All right, monorail to TTC and then TTC over to Epcot, Epcot Loop, and then back to my car. Where's the exit? Over this way. Oh, that's interesting. The express monorail is down. They're routing everyone here to the resort monorail. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess something must be wrong with the express monorail. It's a resort monorail loop. It is. It's also interesting when I was on the People Mover, they refer to that. The narrator refers to that as the highway in the sky. But then also when you're on the monorail, they call the monorail the highway in the sky. So there's two highway in the skies as referred to by Walt Disney World. It's going to be kind of nice to accomplish all of this and be done by noon. By <laughs> noon. Four parks, four attractions slash rides, adding in some monorail loops, going through the contemporary, all this for the cusp of noonage. Park hopping's back, baby. Now you gotta take this little corridor underneath the monorail beams when you do the monorail from the, not the express, but the resort monorail. You have to go down and around and under the underbelly and then back up. Where if you did the express, you would have just walked right across the platform. This is kind of an adventure. Yeah, you know, to be honest, I don't know if I've ever taken the express monorail over to the Epcot connection. There's the, not express, but I've always taken the express. I've never taken the resort monorail. That's what I meant to say. The resort monorail and then gone under that little, the nether regions of the platform like that. It looks like the Express is running again, because of this, this would just dump off. You walk out of here, and then you get in over here to go over to Epcot. And I can see it approaching even from here. I'll get the long approach as it pulls in, the monorail pulling into TTTT, TTTT, the double T's, double TC, the TTC, the Transportation Ticket Center. And I think I'm going to make it. It is 11.38, which means I have to do the Epcot loop. I'll get to check out some of the construction that's happening down in the new World Celebration Gardens that just opened. And then the new section is going to be a new character meet and greet. I'll be able to see that. And then I'll head over to my car, which should put me right around 12 o'clock noon. 12 noonage. Teal. Light blue. A bluish hue. I'm curious to see if my coffee is still going to be hot too. I think it is. I got it in that new Stanley cup and it's, it's, it keeps it warm. Let's see what happens. It is in fact monorail teal. Again, Magic Kingdom parking lots are not too terribly busy. This is like kind of towards the end of it. You get the idea of the back portions of TTC. Plenty of parking at this time. There's a minivan going by too. Mini transportation. Get up and take a look, you can see Tijuana, Tijuana is by you, it's going to be right over here. And so, the new one you're talking about? Yeah, I got Spaceship Earth over there, off in the distance. 
World Celebration Gardens, even though that building's not quite finished yet. You kind of look down. You got the wall sculpture that's down there as well. You can see still a lot of walls up as well, but it's getting there. It'd be nice when it's all completely open and accessible to walk through. I've got probably 20, 30 guys who are going to call us over there. That's a TI. I'm sorry, man. I'm going back Alright, all of us back at the monorail platform, heading to the car. Oh man, I did it. It is 11.59 right now. My car is out here over, I think, in Wally or maybe in Moana. I have to check and see. Spaceship Earth off in the distance. The clock is about to strike noon. It is 11.59 right now. So the first park I went in was Animal Kingdom at 8 a.m. And it is about, the clock is about to hit noon, making it four hours. I did four parks. I commuted. I took the monorail. I did four attractions slash rides and enjoyed the day. It was a little rushed. I was moving kind of fast, but I did it. I think the commuting from park to park was probably took longer than the actual being in the parks, but I did it. Four parks, four hours. Park hopping is back on the first official day, Tuesday, January 9th, 2020. For the first time, 2024, for the first time in what, three and a half, four years? Give or take, been a while. And that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is Park Hoppin's back, baby. The vlog. It's over. And my coffee's still warm. I wouldn't say it's piping hot, but it's still warm. It's probably even a notch up from warm. Not hot, but definitely drinkable and toasty. Four hours later.